this video we're going to be looking at chalk pastels first um so get these really lovely fain pastel marks just by rubbing it across your page or you can press a little bit thicker a little bit harder and you get more of a color payoff so i'm just using different shades of blue and layering them on top of one another and the nice thing about chalk pastel is you can mix it just with your finger so you see here i'm just rubbing all those colors together to create really lovely blue tones you can see on my fingers it's a pretty messy job which i mean it doesn't bother me at all so this is now looking at how to combine chalk pastels with water to sort of make chalk paint i guess in a way so i'm using this bit of paper here as a palette and then creating my little paint swatches so you can do it in your art journal which personally i prefer because you get a stronger color or you can make a little palette on a separate piece of paper and just use it like you would use um, paints. So if you're into soft sort of pastel-y colors, I think this would really be for you. So I just put down a good amount of chalk on my little palette piece of paper. I'm just choosing a few different colors to work with. And then take my water and my paintbrush and mixing them, making my little pastel paint or chalk paint and then putting it into my art journal. I'm just going to put water back over those blue marks so we could just leave them smudgy you could not even smudge them and leave them like that but I really love putting on the water it just gives it another element another dimension but look at that blue come to life with the addition of water. Now we're going to look at mixing all the mediums that I've shown you. So I'm starting with chalk, just layering up a few blues again. And then I'm going to use the same colours but in oil pastel and go over the top. So when you go over the top of chalk using oil, you get a really lovely, sort of that resistance again like with the felt tips. But because the chalk is so much more movable on your page, you're sort of smudging it out with the oil pastels. now I'm going to bring back in the ink so the ink on the oil will resist but the ink on the chalk will enhance so you can see at the top of that yellow bit the water's made the yellow pop out a lot more on the chalk pastel and then as you, I layer more ink you'll see that the chalk pastel sort of just mixes into the ink color so it's really interesting and quite different just a different idea a different pattern but sort of the same technique so again I start with chalk that just seems the most logical to me because you can't really work over the top of oil with chalk but you can work over the top of chalk with oil this one has a few stronger elements of the chalk pastel whereas that other one the chalk pastel is definitely in the background whereas this you're gonna remain seeing quite a lot of this chalk in the finished piece so again I'm just using similar or same colors in the oil pastel over the top. Just going in and creating my pattern. So I'm just gonna go over the chalk pieces with some water just to bring out the color of them and really bring them to life. I've got chalk pastel all over my hands. I'm 100% a messy artist. And then I'm gonna go in again with the inks. And because I've already put the water down, the ink will bleed out and create these really beautiful abstract colored elements throughout the page. And this is probably one of my favorite things I've made in a long time, I absolutely love it. It's like a little pastel paradise. 